Energy. What is energy? Light. Well, that's a type of energy we use all the time. Through outside all day long, we get light from the sun. Plants can turn sunlight into useful energy which makes them grow. Food gives energy to animals and humans so they can live. Almost anything that moves can be used to create energy, enough to run machines and turn on the light. Energy from the sun can generate electricity using solar panels. We can also use wind for motion and energy. How about water? We need to drink it every day for our energy. Water's movement in rivers and dams also produces energy. There are so many amazing and creative ways we can create the energy that comes through wires into your home, often from far, far away. Wait, what is energy good for? Television, air conditioning, video games, toasters, showers, computers, washing machines, microwaves, fridges, cars, fireplaces, making paper, and plastic bottles. Well, it's too bad that some people use way, way too much energy. Do you know that we could run out? Yep, the power could go out. Oops, so what can we do? Actually, there's so much you can do, and it's easy. You want to know how? Energy. Without it, absolutely nothing would happen. The sun gives us two kinds of energy, light energy and heat energy. At night, electrical energy powers our light bulbs and appliances. There are two kinds of energies, renewable energy and non-renewable energy. Sunshine, wind, water, plants. The flow of energy from these guys never stops. Oil, coal, natural gas, atomic energy. There's a limit to these energies. These energies can be all used up. If we use too much, there will be none left. So we really should make sure we're not using too much energy, shouldn't we? Does anybody know how we can use energy the smart way? If you're leaving a room for more than five minutes, don't forget, turn the light off. And on a sunny day, why not open the curtains and just use natural light? It's simple. Take out incandescent light bulbs and switch them to compact fluorescent bulbs. These use a lot less energy. Just turn off the TV when you're not watching it. Turn the heating down. If it's cold, wear more clothes. And when it's hot, try using a fan. When you're not using them, why not unplug some machines? Like computers, TVs, radios, and video game systems. Something we all need to know, even after charging your phone, your charger will continue to use energy. So unplug it. Water is precious. Energy is needed to clean it. So how about saving a little? Instead of taking a bath, take shorter showers. Try not to keep the water running while you're brushing your teeth. Drippy taps waste a lot of water. Just think, a leaking tap wastes enough water to fill a soda bottle every 30 minutes. Set your washing machine to wash at 30 degrees Celsius. Dry your clothes outside instead of using a tumble dryer. Close the fridge door and never put a hot meal in the fridge. It takes a lot of energy to cool it down. Do you know about Energy Star labels? Well, products with Energy Star labels use much less energy than the others. Keep an eye out for them when you're shopping. And how about riding a bike instead of driving? Being energy smart means doing little things, little things that are important, like using both sides of a piece of paper. And if you can reuse something instead of throwing it away, please do. Want to know something funny? All of these tips won't just help save energy, they'll save you money too. Want to know more about energy? Check out another great video we made. What is energy? And if you're done with the computer, remember, shut it off. Thanks for watching.